So next lesson we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about arc length in parametric. So, uh, so if you think about what we know about arc length, right, in previous uh, iterations of this concept, right, so, so let's say we've got some curve that is defined parametrically, right, so we have some curve. Uh, and we're just going to go ahead and we'll use S for arc length, okay, so we're going to call this length from, let's say, uh, some A to some B. We'll call that an arc length that we want to find, right? So we want to essentially find the length of the string that we would need for this curve, right? So what I want us to do for a sec is I want us to zoom way in, right, on like a tiny little piece of section, right? So I'm going to do a little zoom in, right? And if we were to look only at a very infinitely small section of this arc, right, we could probably call that infinitely, sec uh, infinitely small section of this thing ds for tiny little chunk of arc length. And we would call the tiny little horizontal segment dx for tiny little chunk of x and dy for the tiny little chunk of y, right? So based on what we know from Pythagorean theorem, uh, and we've seen this with arc length of curves that are not parametrically defined, uh, based on Pythagorean theorem, we could say that uh, dx quantity squared plus dy quantity squared, because those are the two legs of my triangle, equals a ds quantity squared, right? So when we did arc length before, uh, we just didn't do it with respect to t, right? So uh, essentially the only difference here that we're looking at is that if I chose to, I could write this entire equation in terms of uh, over dt squared, right? So I could essentially divide this whole equation by a dt quantity squared, and what I would get is dx dt quantity squared plus dy dt quantity squared equals my ds dt quantity squared, right? So if I solve that by taking the square root, right, arc length is a positive quantity, it is a scalar, so I don't need the plus or minus, I'm going to get the square root of dx dt quantity squared plus dy dt quantity squared uh, equals my ds dt, right? Uh, so I could write this as the integral of this square root dx dt quantity squared plus dy dt quantity squared with respect to t is the same as my integral of ds. And there, right, uh, right in that little spot is my formula for arc length. So my arc length in parametric is essentially the derivative with respect to x quantity squared uh, plus the derivative with respect to y quantity squared all under a square root and then we integrate it uh, with respect to t and that would give me my arc length, right? So this is our, our formula for arc length in parametric, which is fairly intuitive based on the formula that we had for arc length before, right? So this is a way to find my tiny little snippet of arc length, right? Snippet, right? It's my snippet of arc. And this would be the way I'd find my total arc length s is by adding up all the snippets uh, to get the arc length.